Hi, this is the second part of Homework 3, MUS 227, and it'll be from the Progressive Rhythm Guitar Book. Today we'll be working with Lesson 16 on page 37 in my book. And we'll be covering chromatic notes in the first position. Chromatic means all the 12 tones of the chromatic scale, which includes all the sharps and all the flats. On page 36, you'll see it in a grid formation, like on a guitar neck. And then page 37, you'll see it written out in music. So look at either one of these, and we'll, what we're going to do is play them and say them note by note. Eventually, I'd like you to memorize them. <clears throat> so starting on the low E string, we have E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp. Now, if possible, what I'd like you to do is be able to hold down each finger instead of going like this and picking each finger up. That way you'll strengthen your fingers immensely. Uh, also, I want you to be able to name them going up the notes and down the notes. When you go up the notes, make sure you say the uh, chromatic notes as sharps. And when you go back down, you say them as flats. Because the way sharps and flats work, say you're on an F note, and then you play the F sharp. A sharp means that you go up one fret. A flat means that you go down one fret. So this second fret of the E string is going to be known as F sharp or G flat. It kind of depends on uh, what you like. So we'll name them as sharps going up the neck and as flats going back down. <clears throat> of course, when you go back down, you don't have to leave your fingers down. One, two, three, four. E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, Notice that when you get to the third string, there's only three notes that you would play. G, G sharp, A, A sharp. Because the very next note is the second string, B. You could play the B on the fourth fret, but that would just be repeating it. And we don't need to do that. We want to play a chromatic scale, so all the notes played continuously without any repeats. Now we'll go down from the fourth fret of the first E string and anytime we get to a chromatic note we'll call it as a flat. A flat, G, G flat, F, E, E flat, D, D flat, C, B, B flat, A, A flat, G, G flat, Practice this, and without looking at the book, just try to be able to recognize the names of the notes. Eventually, you'll be able to play them continuously. And notice when I do that in a fast uh, tempo, I like to use alternate picking. Practice that in two ways. First by saying the notes while playing it and then, and then just play the notes in a down-up alternating pattern. Once you get good at that, turn the page 
and go on to exercise 19 in my book, page 38, progression in A. This is kind of a country type of uh, chord progression, and it uses chromatic notes or sharp notes as bass notes in between the chords. It's in three quarter time, and it's going to sound like this. One, two, and three. Notice that I use the fingers open A string, 2nd fret for the 2nd fret, and 4th finger for the 4th fret. That's 1st position. Also notice that the D chord has two different bass notes. It has the open D and the open A. So let's try number 19 again. One, two, and three. Picking and grinning. Okay, great. Uh, please videotape your homework, upload it, and I'll see you in the next lesson.